Insurance Company. New York Life Insurance Company was founded in 1845 as a mutual insurance company, and then they renamed it in 1849 as New York Life Insurance Company. As as with the other in early insurance companies in the U.S., the company had insured um, had insured their slaves, the owners of the company slaves, as their first client to be, and then in that period, they reported a sold of 48. 485 uh, slave holders of. Um, the company become known for an innovative, uh, the company become known for an innovative business practices. Uh, New York Life Company in 1860, they developed the non-fortune option, uh, which precedes the, the guaranteed cash values of modern policies, under which the policy remains enforced even if the premium payment is missed. Uh, New York Life Company was the first American insurance company to be to give dividends uh, to their policy holders, and uh, then New York Life Company was the first insurance company to give a woman a same rate of a policy as a man. Also, it was the first company to be to give uh, policies to disability people. Also, it was uh, it it was the first one to issue policy with disability benefits. That presumes total disability to permit after predetermined period. New York Life Insurance Company was required had required their employee, their agents, to complete their the the formal continuing education programs. New York Life Company was uh, is is the largest animal life insurance company, and in the United States also is one of the largest insurance company in the worldwide. Uh, it, the company ranked 60, number 67, number 60, I mean 76 on 2000, 2009 Fortune 100 list, making the highest private health insurance company in, in that list. The company is now one of the, the only three insurance companies in the U.S. that to hold the highest possible rating for the major, the major rating agency. Uh, New York Life Insurance internationally is the, the global arm of the company, also with an uh, operation in Asia, which is India, uh, Thailand, uh, uh, Korea, uh, Hong Kong, also in Latin America, which is Mexico and Argentina. Uh, New York Life, uh, the basis of New York Life Company is a humanity. For instance, in 1853, the New York Company had helped with the yellow fever that uh, that outbreak in your Inlands. Uh, since since then, the New York Life has dis, uh, distinguished itself by responding to the crimes, also to help uh, also to help to I mean to help to build building a, a, a strong community. In 1951, the company had established their foundation, and in the foundation, they donated more than 83 million dollars to an to national and to national and local nonprofit organization, which includes uh, the which includes the fire U, uh, camp fire U.S. the Hispanic the Hispanics scholarship funds and the girls Inc. Also in 1998, uh, the foundation implemented its nurturing the children innovation, which focuses on the childhood and the childhood education and monitoring programs. By the 2004, that uh, by the 2004, the Innovative has made a, made the commitment of 17, $17 million dollars. Uh, New York Life Insurance Company had adopted four uh, broad uh, goals for the future and the decade for the future and beyond that. The first one was to be the permitted private of life insurance company in the United States, also the, to be to be the leader in providing insurance income. Uh, to providing retirement income securities, also to be the most trusted investment uh, managers, and to achieve a significant growth in insurance, which extended financial securities. New York Life will continue to be a one of the non organization with non profit organization in New York City and other areas where their agent, agent and employer and retirement lives there. Hi, my name is Elise Chazen, and we're going to be speaking about the financial situation more profitable year than in 2007. In uh, correspondence with the insurance sales, the investment sales, the individual life insurance, and force, 
the policyholder benefits and dividends, the operating revenue, assets under management, operating earnings, surplus, and asset valuation reserves. As you will see, the profits in 2009 equal to a million that a million one hundred and fourteen thousand nine hundred and sixteen dollars compared to two thousand seven, where it was a million dollars one hundred twelve thousand and seven hundred eight. The insurance sales in international markets equaled six hundred eighty five million, an increase of twenty one percent from two thousand seven. New York Life is has over two hundred and eighty billion dollars in assets. According to an evaluation of the company, if everybody that had a New York life insurance passed away, the company would still have 13 billion dollars. New York life has more reserves than the FDIC, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. This past summer was the strongest in South Florida for this 164 year old company because people trust this company, especially during the economic meltdown. In 2005, the New York Life was the only company tested for three stress tests. First was the swine flu, second was a 20% decrease in market prices, and the third was unemployment rise over 7%. The results were surprising and were very good. Not only would they, have to, not, only would they not have to declare bankruptcy, but they were prepared and prepared themselves for these three problems. When the market crashed, New York Life uh, lost less than one four hundredth of a percent. New York Life received the highest ratings from four rating companies, the most important one, Moody's, Standard & Poor's, AM Best, and Fitch. Several large insurers have applied or received federal bailout money from New York Life Company. New York Life did not need any federal funds when the financial meltdown occurred compared to many other banks or many other insurance companies. Uh, this was a quote that I found. Um, it said, New York Life Inter International surpassed $100 million in operating earnings in 2008, up to 36% over 2007 and a new milestone for the company. As you see on this chart, there is the results from, it was, it's the results from the operating and the company's profitability. In 2008, New York Life profits reached $1.283 billion. This is the policyholder benefits and dividends graph. With $14.7 billion in payments made, New York Life exceeded previous totals, showing the large amount of people count on New York Life. This it has to do with 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, and as you can see, the gradual increase for the company. This graph is the surplus and asset valuation reserves. Uh, it started as, at about $13 million, and in 2008, while in uh, 2004, it was about $12 million. Operating revenue um, has gradually increased since 2004. The revenue in New York Life has generated from domestic and international business, as previously stated by uh, my other group member, that they have companies and branches all over the world. As for the investment sales, again, it has grown. In 2008, the investment sales increased more than $1.8 billion from 2007 due to the growth of the fixed annual annuity business uh, situation of New York Life Company. Um, I have explained how profitable the company is and uh, how good it even did during the financial meltdown. They actually were very profitable during, profitable during the financial meltdown because of the trust that the customers have um, and the wealthiness of the company.